Detail first for account for, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. Post. Detail round four. On behalf of Captain Burke and all the personnel assigned to the Indianapolis Post, I would like to welcome each of you to our annual memorial service to honor those who have left our ranks. At this time, I invite Father Coffey to come forward and ask that you remain standing for the invocation. Thank you, sir. I invite you to pray. Almighty God, our Creator and Redeemer, you graciously bless us and promise to hear us when we call upon you. You have blessed our society with noble and valiant public servants who are willing and prepared to enforce just laws and to aid our fellow citizens in time of distress. We are truly grateful for them and we honor them, desiring to be ever cognizant of their inestimable services. We beseech your blessing, O Lord, as we now gather in solemn assembly to once again hear the names and deeds of these dedicated Indiana State Police members who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the cause of peace and safety within our state. Comfort their families, friends, and colleagues with your perpetual presence and your eternal sovereignty. For as the psalmist aptly declared, be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings, I will take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us and hear our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. We are assembled here this day to honor our departed comrades, to perpetuate the memory of our dead, to reverently commemorate the service of those who have lost their lives in the performance of their duty. Prepare for roll call. Detail, Paul Raid, rest. Trooper Eugene Teague, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed June 1, 1933, killed on December 20, 1933, in Paris, Illinois, during the capture of members of the Dillinger Gang. Trooper Paul V. Miniman, Logansport, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 1, 1935. Killed May 27, 1937, by gunshot while attempting to capture members of the Brady Gang. Trooper William R. Dixon, South Bend, Indiana, Dunes Park Post. Appointed September 1, 1935. Killed June 28, 1938, by gunshot while attempting to apprehend members of the Easton Gang. Trooper George A. Forster, Seymour, Indiana. Assigned, Seymour Post. Appointed September 1, 1938. Died May 17, 1941, in a traffic accident near Vernon, Indiana. Trooper Richard F. England, Columbia City, Indiana. Assigned, Ligonier Post. Appointed January 20th, 1936. Died April 22nd, 1942. Of injuries sustained in a traffic accident near Kibble, Indiana. Trooper Herbert W. Smith, Shelbyville, Indiana. Assigned Connorsville Post. Appointed November 2nd, 1942. Killed December 5th, 1946. Near Shelbyville, Indiana, when fired upon by a traffic violator. Trooper Robert. E. Clevenger, Centerville, Indiana, Connorsville Post. Appointed September 1st, 1952, died September 8th, 1953, in a traffic crash while pursuing a violator. Sergeant Hubert Rausch, Indianapolis, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed July 14th, 1941, died January 22nd, 1955, in an automobile crash near Indianapolis. Trooper Earl L. Brown, Columbus, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed October 16, 1940, killed August 31st, 1955, while searching a suspect. Sergeant John R. Miller, Lafayette, Indiana, Lafayette Post. 
Born in September 1st, 1941, died September 5th, 1955, in an airplane crash while on Labor Day Patrol. Trooper Donald R. Turner, Auburn, Indiana, Ligonier Post. Appointed November 1st, 1946, died January 28, 1956, from injuries sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he helped the wrecker operator pull the car from a ditch. First Sergeant Marvin E. Waltz, New Albany, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 1st, 1937, killed March 18, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by a suspected bank robber. Trooper William R. Kellums. Indianapolis, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 15, 1956, killed September 30, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by fugitives wanted for murder. Trooper John H. Powell, Otterbein, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed December 1, 1954, died February 27, 1959, when he was struck by an oncoming vehicle placing electronic timing device on the roadway. Trooper Robert J. Garrison, Montpelier, Indiana, Red Key Post. Appointed October 1st, 1955, died December 14th, 1959, instantly of head injuries sustained in an automobile crash on State Road 67. Trooper Robert C. Gillespie, Bedford, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed September 1st, 1950, died June 8, 1962, injuries sustained in a traffic crash near Mitchell, Indiana. Trooper William F. Heiser, Tell City, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed Operations Clerk, October 16, 1957. Appointed as a trooper, March 16, 1958. Killed March 9, 1965, a gunshot while investigating a suspicious person near Ram. Trooper Oscar Mills, Hobart, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 16, 1955. Died April 12, 1966. Results of an injury sustained in an automobile crash while traveling west on State Road 18 and County Road 350 in Carroll County. Trooper William R. Rayner, Greensburg, Indiana, assigned for sales post. Appointed September 1st, 1957, killed December 18, 1966, by gunshot inflicted by escapees from a Kentucky State prison in a stolen car. Trooper Richard G. Brown, Lebanon, Indiana, assigned. Lafayette Post. Appointed May 1st, 1955, died September 27th, 1967, as a result of injuries sustained in a car truck crash on Interstate 74 in Boone County. Trooper Robert O. Leetson, Westville, Indiana, assigned Connersville Post. Appointed August 16th, 1961, killed March 30th, 1969, by gunshot inflicted by a mentally deranged subject armed with a rifle who had been firing at random from a barricaded position. Sergeant George W. Campbell, Brazil, Indiana, assigned Putnamville Post. Appointed September 1st, 1950, died June 18, 1969, of a heart attack during the arrest of a truck driver who had attempted to drive by the Putnamville truck scales. Trooper John J. Strew, Logansport, Indiana, assigned Sherrillville Post. Appointed April 16, 1970. Killed February 20th, 1971 by gunshot. Marshal John Larimer of St. John, Indiana was also fatally wounded as two officers investigated two suspicious subjects behind a school building. Sergeant Glenn R. Hosier, Logansport, Indiana, assigned Brew Post. Appointed May 1st, 1955. Killed April 26th, 1971 by gunshot while attempting to apprehend a subject being sought for murder in Peru. Trooper William J. Trees, Oakland City, Indiana, Evansville Post. Appointed September 1st, 1968, died June 26, 1972, in an automobile accident while pursuing a fleeing vehicle at a high rate of speed. Trooper Lawrence B. Meyer, Sellersburg, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 1st, 1968. Died February 2nd, 1974 of a heart attack during a foot pursuit of an escaped prisoner. Trooper Lewis E. Phillips, Michigan City, Indiana, Dunes Park Post. Appointed February 27th, 1973. 
died April 16, 1975, as a result of injuries sustained in an automobile crash on US-20 when his patrol car collided with a semi-tractor trailer. Trooper Roy E. Jones, Lapel, Indiana, Pendleton Post. Appointed October 17, 1976, died July 3, 1979, in an automobile crash while en route to assist the Markleville Town Marshal. Trooper Robert J. Lather II, Greentown, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed December 15, 1974, died July 6, 1982, in an automobile crash while assisting the Howard County Sheriff's Department in the pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Trooper Stephen L. Bailey, Richmond, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed November 26, 1978, died December 10, 1983, when his weapon discharged while attempting to serve a warrant in Indianapolis. Sergeant John E. Hatful, Evansville, Indiana, Evansville Post. Appointed January 28, 1973, killed April 13, 1987, by gunshot while leading the emergency response team into the residence of a suicidal subject in Posey County, Indiana. Master Trooper Michael E. Green, Thorntown, Indiana, Indianapolis Post. Appointed June 10, 1976, killed February 5, 1993, by gunshot along I-65 in Marion County while arresting a person wanted on a warrant. Trooper Todd A. Berman, Delphi, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed December 9, 1990, killed July 29, 1993, by gunshot while assisting the Camden Town Marshal with the arrest of a disorderly person. Master <coughs> Motor Carrier Inspector, Working Leader, Ralph R. Reed, Plymouth, Indiana, Bremen Post. Appointed April 16, 1968, died August 3, 1995, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while performing a truck inspection in Plymouth, Indiana. DNA Supervisor, Kimberly S. Epperson, Fountaintown, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed February 4, 1985, died November 16, 1995, in an automobile crash while en route to assist en route to a training assignment at the Lowell Laboratory. Trooper Andrew P. Winsenreed, Osgood, Indiana, for sales post. Appointed December 4th, 1994, died April 25th, 1997, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while assisting a disabled motorist along Interstate 74 in Decatur County. Senior Trooper James Patrick Bartram, Mooresville, Indiana, Putnamville Post. Appointed December 19th, 1987, died March 31st, 1998, of injuries sustained in a traffic crash on State Road 144 near Mooresville. Master Trooper David A. Duder, Angola, Indiana, Toll Road Post. Appointed April 1st, 1972, died July 16th, 1998, when struck by a semi-tractor trailer while conducting a traffic stop along Inter Indiana Toll Road in LaGrange County. Trooper Richard T. Gaston, Indianapolis, Indiana, Toll Road Post. Appointed December 13th, 1998, died March 4th, 1999, when a semi-tractor trailer drove off the roadway, struck the trooper's vehicle, killing him and two other people in another car. Trooper Corey R. Elson, Brownsburg, Indiana, Fort Wayne Post. Appointed December 13th, 1998, killed April 3rd, 1999, when a driver opened fire on him with an automatic assault rifle during a traffic stop on US-27 in Decatur. Trooper Jason E. Beal, Shelbyville, Indiana, Bremen Post. Appointed December 13th, 1998, died January 15th of 2000 from injuries sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he helped a wrecker operator who was pulling a car out of a ditch. Trooper Scott A. Patrick, Wheatfield, Indiana, Lowell Post. Appointed June 25th, 2000, killed December 22nd, 2003, when a driver opened fire on him as he approached a disabled vehicle along Interstate 80 in Lake County. Lieutenant Gary E. Dudley, Indianapolis, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed December 14th, 1979, died August 22nd, 2006, when he was struck by a motor vehicle while participating in a bicycle ride to honor fallen police officers. Lake County Sheriff's Department Chief of Police Gary Martin also died as a result of the crash. Master Trooper David E. Rich, Wabash, Indiana, Peru Post. 
appointed November 19, 1989, killed July 5, 2007, when a motorist he stopped to assist opened fire on him as he approached the disabled vehicle on US 24 in Wabash County. Trooper Daniel R. Barrett, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed July 8, 2007, killed January 27, 2008, while attempting to catch a speeding motorist. His car left the roadway and struck a tree on US 31. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Robert E. Pitcher, Cambridge City, Indiana, assigned to the Richmond Scales. Appointed July 11, 1988, killed September 26, 2010, while transporting power brake testing equipment on I-70 in Wayne County and lost control of his vehicle, struck a guardrail, and then crossed the center median into opposing traffic lanes colliding with a semi-tractor trailer. These are our brother officers and fellow employees who have passed on. When they departed this life that we still enjoy, they left memories of warm friendships and of loyalty and devotion to the service. The greatest tribute in our power to pay our departed comrades is this reverent acknowledgement of our obligation to remember them. It has been said the strength of the Indiana State Police Department lies in the character of its men and women. You and I will long remember the deeds of our deceased who were ever mindful of their public trust. They have set the pattern we must follow in the days and years to come. Thus, we who remain do reaffirm a pledge that we will continue to uphold the ideals and traditions for which they died. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to render honors to our fallen heroes. <laughs> 